In this video, I'm going to answer a very simple question, which is how do you prove that a given point is the midpoint of a line? So let's look at an example. So we're going to prove that point M is the midpoint of a line AB. And we're going to look at the point. So A is going to be the point 2, 4, and then B is going to be the point 6, 10. And if you drew a line connecting point A to point B, that would be the line AB. And then we're going to suggest that M is going to be the point 4, 7. And our job here is to prove that 4, 7 is actually the midpoint of point A and point B joined together, which is our line AB. And to do this, we're going to have to use the formula called the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula looks complicated, but it's actually a really, really simple idea. So the midpoint formula looks like this. And what it basically is, is we're taking two X points, X1 and X2, adding them together, dividing it. That's giving us the X coordinate. Then we've got a comma separating it. We add the two Y coordinates, divide by two, and that gives us the Y coordinate. And if the point is actually the midpoint, we should put the numbers in and get our midpoint out. So let's look at our points A and B, and we're going to learn how to label them. So we're going to take the first part of A, that's going to be our X1. Then the Y coordinate of A is going to be Y1. And we do the same thing with the coordinate B. First point is going to be X2. It's our second X coordinate. And then we've got our second Y coordinate called Y2. And then all we need to do is take these numbers and substitute these into our midpoint formula. So we look at X1. We're going to replace that with 2 plus the 6, which is our second X coordinate that I've labeled X2. We divide that by 2. And then for the y, we do the same thing. Our y1 is 0.4 plus the 10, which is our y2. Divide that by 2. If you put each of these in the calculator separately, so you did 2 plus 6 divided by 2, that would give you 4. And then likewise, the calculation after the comma would give you a 7. And when you look at this, you go, hang on. We've got the 4 and we've got the 7. That matches up with our point M. So we look here. Here's our midpoint, here is point M. They are the same, and at the end of every answer where you're asked to prove something, you should write a conclusion. And these three dots mean therefore, therefore point M is the midpoint of line AB, therefore you've proved it. So if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe, and comment with any questions that you have. And finally, thank you very much for watching.